Hello, I'm Michaela with Girls Who Code, back with step four of part three in the poetry remix tutorial. In this step, we'll get familiar with data types and change a string into an integer through typecasting. By the end of this step, our program will take one more user input as an integer. You can code along with the video or watch it first, then add your code using the to-do list under the video. Programs separate data into different categories called data types. Knowing the data type helps the computer know what it can do with that information. The most common data types are strings, integers, and booleans. Strings are words and text, integers are numbers, and booleans represent true and false. Let's take a look at our variables and think about what data type they should be. Remember, we have strings, integers, and booleans. We know we want each of them to hold a word. Knowing this, can you figure out their data type? String. Since we expect a text value, we know that they should be of data type string. Let's create a variable of a different data type, integer. We'll declare a new variable called num for number. We'll set it equal to input, parentheses, quote. Please type in a number and press enter. Go ahead and create a new variable named num and assign it to an input. Let's test out our program by pressing run and putting some inputs. We'll type in family, food, and cook. For the number, let's type in three. No errors. Looks like our program is taking user input okay, but let's put our variable to the test. With integers, we can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We will add another line here to say num plus five. This will test our variable because the program should be able to add two integers together. Let's press run and again put in our inputs. We'll type in family, food, cook, and for the number we will put three. We get an error. Why is that? It's because input will take user input as a string or word. So instead of the integer or number three, we have the string or word three. It might look the same to you, but it's totally different to a computer. To fix it, we need to convert the string to an integer. Different coding languages handle switching data types in different ways. In Python, we will have to transform the data type of a value into a different data type if we want to use it a different way. This is called typecasting. Let's try it. Before input, we will type in int, open parentheses, we will then add a closing parenthesis after the input. Int is short for integer. This will transform whatever is inside the parentheses into an integer value. Let's run our code again. We'll put in our inputs, family, food, cook, and for the number, I will put in three. Now, when we try to add num with another integer, we won't run into any errors. In a later step, we will be doing some addition with the num variable, so changing it into an integer is super important. That's it for step four. In the next part, we'll learn how to combine our variables with our print statements.